Welcome to Patio of Science. If you are new to our channel, please subscribe. There are other subject wise videos that are available in our playlist. Try to watch all those videos, it will definitely help you in your preparations. This is Patriot's IAS Prelims Conqueror Part 13 video. Startup India Seed Fund Scheme. The Startup India Seed Fund Scheme aims to provide financial assistance to startups for proof of concept, prototype development, product trials, market entry, and commercialization. Scheme aims to provide financial assistance to startups at very initial stage of their project. It is up to rupees 945 crore. What is seed funding? The seed funding or seed stage funding is a, is a very initial investment. Generally, investors often get an equity stake in exchange of, for their capital investor. In case of founders use their savings to start up a business, it is called bootstrapping. Are the eligibility criteria? Next is sustainable alternative towards affordable transportation scheme. It is an initiative by government of India with a with the objective of setting up compressed biogas production plants and make it available for market use for automotives by in inviting expression of interest through potential investors. It is under Ministry of Petroleum and Natural Gas. The scheme helps to maintain India's commitment towards reducing carbon emissions, fulfilling agreements such as Paris Agreement. Next is PM Innovative Learning Program, DRO. It is an initiative of Government of India with the assistance of the Union Ministry of Human Resource Development. The program shall focus on encouraging young and talented students in the field of their interest be it science, performing arts, creative writing, etc. Next is Sir Power Scheme. It is under Ministry of Science and Technology. Launched, it's launched the Sir Power Promoting Opportunities for Women in Exploratory Research Scheme in India. The main objective of this project is to mitigate gender disparity in science and engineering. It's research funding in various science and technology programs in Indian academic institutions and research and development laboratories. It is a statutory body established through an Act of Parliament, Serb Act 2008, Government of India. Next is PM Sarvnidhi. It stands for Prime Minister Sri Vendors Atmanirbhar Nithi. It is a center sector scheme launched in 2020. It aims to provide micro credit facilities to street vendors affected due to COVID-19 pandemic. The center sector scheme, it will provide affordable working capital loans to street vendors who are left affected by novel coronavirus pandemic. Vendors will provide with the initial working capital up to rupees 10,000. These are the objectives of the scheme. They are the lending institutions of the scheme. Federal commercial banks, regional RRB, regional rural bank, cooperative banks, no banking financial companies, self-helping group, micro finance institutions. Next is summer scheme. Objectives. It will provide national skill framework qualification, compliance skilling programs to over 10 lakh persons. Skill program offered under summer scheme aim to incentivize and supplement the efforts of Ministry of Textiles. This is production link incentives scheme. It is a scheme that aims to give companies incentives on incremental sales from products manufactured in domestic units. The scheme invites foreign companies to set up units in India. However, it also aims to encourage local companies to set up or expand existing manufactured units and also to generate more employment and cut down the country's reliance on imports from other countries. It was introduced as a part of national policy on electronics by the ministry, by the IT ministry, to give incentives of four to six percentage of electronic companies manufacturing electronic components like mobile phones, transistors, diodes, etc. The main aim of the scheme 
was to invite foreign investors to set up their manufacturing units in India and also promote local manufacturers to expand their units and generate employment. Next is Solar Sharkas Mission. This is under the MSME, Ministry of MSME. Major objectives of Solar Sharkas Mission inclusive growth, sustainable development, rural economic development. Next is Integrated Processing Development Scheme. It is uh, during the 12th finance five year plan to implement under the Ministry of Textile. These are the major objectives of the scheme. Next is Housing for All Scheme. The Housing for All Scheme was an initiative of the Government of India to establish housing facilities for some dwellers. It was introduced by the Indian Government Minist under the Ministry of Housing and Urban Poverty Alleviation. It is also known as Pradhan Mandri Avas Yojana. It is both for people residing in urban and rural areas that fulfill certain criteria. This is the eligibility criteria. Next is Fame India Scheme Phase 2. The faster adoption and manufacturing of hybrid and electrical vehicles too is a scheme launched by the government of India to give a boost to development of electric vehicles. These are the steps taken by the central government to make electric vehicles more affordable. The major objectives of this scheme, creation of demand, provide platform technology, concentrate on pilot projects working on charging infrastructure. Next is Pradhana Mandri, Sam Yogi Mandhan scheme, well launch, uh, launched on 2019 it is under the Ministry of Labour and Employment. The scheme is a central sector scheme that is introduced for old age protection and social security of unorganized workers. They are provided with an assured monthly, these are the benefits provided to the beneficiary under the schemes are mentioned below. They are provided with the assured monthly pension where each beneficiary will receive a minimum assured pension of rupees 3000 per month after attaining age of 3 years. The beneficiary dies during the receipt of the pension. 50% of the pension received by the beneficiary will be entitled to the spouse as a family pension. He or should be the eligible criteria and of the scheme. He or should be unorganized worker aged between 18 to 14 years. He should be, he or she should have a monthly income of fifteen thousand or below. National Skill Development Mission to drive Skill India agenda in a mission mode, in order to converge the existing skill training in initiative and campaign skill and quality of skill efforts with speeds. Uh, National Skill Development Mission implemented. This is making India is intended to boost domestic manufacturing sector and also augment investment into the country. The various sectors are manufacturing, you can read all others under which comes under the manufacturing sectors, service sectors, various services under the service sectors. This is Hridaya scheme, National Heritage City Development and Argumentation Yojana. The scheme was introduced to preserve and revitalize the rich cultural heritage of the country. Hridaya scheme aims in the conservation of heritage, urban planning and in increasing the economic growth of the heritage cities. It is under Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs. This is Ujjwal scheme. Ujjwal scheme was established by replacing Bachat Lam Yojana is a joint initiative of public sector undertaking of Government of India Energy Efficiency Service Limited under the Union Ministry of Power and Electric Distribution Company. Next is Amrut scheme. It is under Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs. The scheme is initiated to provide basic civic amenities to the urban areas to improve the quality of life with the major focus on the Poor, to the poor and the disadvantages people. These are the major objectives of the scheme. This is Digital India. It is under the Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology. And Finance Ministry also 
the uh, Indian government launched the Digital India campaign to make government service available to citizens electronically by online infrastructure improvement and also enhancing internet connectivity. It also aims to empower country digitally in the domain technology. The main focus on three areas is in providing digital infrastructure as a source of utility to every citizen, governance and surveillance on demand to look after the digital empowerment of every citizen. This is Vijaya scheme. It is under the Ministry of Power. The scheme was established with a vision to provide affordable and accessible 24 into 7 power to all. This Udaya scheme also aims in providing a solution for revenue side efficiency as well as cost side efficiency. These are the major objectives of the scheme. Startup India it is under the Ministry of Commerce and Industry, aim to promote and support startups in India by providing bank finances. Startup India is under the Ministry of Commerce, whereas Standup India is under the Ministry of Finance. The major objectives of Startup India is to discuss some of the restrictive state government policies which includes license raj, land permissions, foreign investment proposal, environmental clearance. Based on major three pillars, providing fund supports and incentives to various startups of the country to provide industry academy partnership and incubation, simplification and hand holding. Stand up India. Stand up India aims to providing people belonging to scheduled caste or scheduled tribe or woman of the country to give loan between 10 lakhs to 1 crore based on their requirements. It is under the Ministry of Finance. Startup India is under the Ministry of Commerce. Standup India is under the Ministry of Finance. Next is Pradhana Mandri Ujjwal Yojana. It is under the Ministry of Petroleum and Natural Gas. The schemes originally envisaged the distribution of 50 million LPG connection to women below the poverty line. The aims of the Pradhana Mandri Yojana are to empower women and protect their health to minimize health issues arising from the use of unclean fossil fuels and other fuel while cooking, to control indoor pollution from the use of fossil fuels which causes respiratory issues, to prevent degradation of purity of the environment that is com compromised by widespread usage of unclean cooking fuel. Next is Shamdev Jayanti Yojana, it is under the Ministry of Labour and Employment. Scheme was launched as an initiative for the development of industries. It also aims to expand government support for imparting skill training to the workers. Smart City Mission, it is a city, smart city is a city where there is a significant and extensive improvement in the physical, social, economic infrastructure. The need for the development of smart cities. Smart cities are needed to bring growth and development in the country. Smart cities are needed for the development of quality of life for the people of people in the cities. If the quality of life of the people is improved in cities, then the actual city will attract more people and there will be more investments. Last one is remission of duties and tax on exported products scheme. The scheme allows exporters to receive refunds on taxes and duties that are not exempted or refunded under any other scheme. Under this scheme, exporters receive refunds on the embed taxes and duties previously on non-recoverable. The chief a form scheme is to boost the export of goods that were poor in volume. The base scheme basically replaces the merchandise as export from Indian scheme. This is all about the schemes. If you like the video, please subscribe our channel. Please share the video with your friends. There are subject wise videos are available in our playlist. Try to watch all those videos. It will definitely help you in your preparations. Thanks for watching.